Hi everyone and welcome back. In this tutorial we are going to show you how to create a multi-page website with the Vertex. The Vertex is a creative one-page as well as multi-page theme that is available on themeforest.net for download. Let's navigate to our website. A multi-page website is made up of pages. Each page contains different rows. For example, this is home page and we are going to service page. As you can see, this is a row with four columns. And this is a parallax row. Let's move to portfolio page. This is a page with only one portfolio that is wide. This is a contact us page contains different rows we may create a, a page just like this one as an example for you to understand how to create a multi-page website so be with us the first thing you need to do is to install and activate your theme for instructions on how to activate your theme please refer to our first video that is about demo import after activation, your dashboard would look like something like this and your plugins will be installed. Uh, the first thing to do is to create a container page for our website. Pages, add new, for example, main page. And then on page attributes, select main page as a template for your page. Then publish your book. Then uh, you may want to add a blog to your page. Click on add new. Name your page for example blog. And then scroll down. In section type select blog section as a section type. And in section display here, uh, select external page. This will show your blog as an external page. You can have two blog types, toggle blog and classic blog. I'm going to choose classic blog for my multi-page and then publish your work. Now it is time to validate these two pages. On settings, reading, select a static page. And for front page, select main page. And for post page, select block. Save changes. Now you are ready to create a page. To start creating your multi-page website, click on pages, add new. Name your page, for example, home page. And then click on this plus button. By clicking on this plus button, you will access all the different shortcuts that we've provided for you. I selected custom image box. I'm going to add an image to my page. Uh, you can upload files, but I'm going to select some other file that I uploaded before. I'm going to copy and paste a title. Maybe this one. You can easily type it down you don't have to copy and paste anything then I'm going to add a color you can select colors easily you don't have to type it down and a font size maybe border box position these are different options that we provided for you to create a more flexible design for you to select between them I'm going to copy and paste a um, sentence as content and you can do more I'm just going to leave it for now and save my changes in section type select custom section and in section display select main page this is for your home page you want repeat these works for each of every page you are going to create and save update or save your work and then we're going to add another page 
Let's add another page to our website. For example, I'm going to add contact us page. Other pages than home page are created differently. For example, let's add some content to our page by clicking on this plus button. Let's select a row, parallax, or full width video. I'm going to add a parallax row. So I'm going to select this short code. A container type would be parallax. And I'm going to add an image to my parallax. I'm going to upload some file from my computer. Here is an image I can use. Wait for it to load completely. And then set the image to be your parallax image. And I'm going to add some padding for making it more beautiful. It's totally optional. Uh, 200 pixels and save. You can see this is a parallax row. Then click on this plus button to add more shortcodes to your parallax. For example, I'm going to add a custom heading shortcode to my parallax. Uh, for title, I'm going to copy and paste some title I have before. You can easily type it down again. Uh, so title color, again you can select a color like this as I am doing it or you can enter your favorite color code. Then some more configuration, for example, title font size or letter spacing, its shape, it's totally up to you. It's based on your needs, based on your ideas. You can change your configuration without any need to any programming knowledge at all. And I think that's enough. Let's save our changes. Uh, and. Uh, scroll up these buttons give you extra access to configuration you can add for example padding for your parallax row here on top and bottom uh, I'm going to add a hundred pixel uh, let's get it 200 pixels and save our changes you can uh, play with these items more uh, then on plus button, I'm going to add, for example, a contact form to my website. Uh, this is where you should select your contact form. We don't have any, so I'm go we are going to save these changes and create a contact form. The next step is to select sections to hide. That is a custom section. And section display, that would be external page. This option will make your page as an external page. And then update your page. Now we have to create a contact form. On contact, click on add new. Add new again. Or select your language, your favorite language. I'm going to copy and paste a code to my contact form page. This code is provided you online on this uh, address that you can see on page and you can also find it by a link that is provided for you in documentation let's save our contact form and enter title for example contact form save your page now on pages go to contact us page And in contact form, shortcode, select edit and select your recently created contact form. And update your page. Now you may want to add a web blog to your website. To do so, you have to create some posts first. To create a post, click on posts, add new. And then enter a title 
for your posts. For example, I'm going to copy and paste branding identity. Then enter some content for your posts. For example, I'm going to copy and paste this DOM data. It's worth mentioning that in one page websites you only have toggled block, but in multi page websites you can choose between two different variations toggled block and classic block. Now add some categories to your post. For example, click on add category, enter branding. You can hit enter to add your category to your categories, or you can add new category by clicking on this button here add some more categories then some tags again you can hit enter or click on add button this tags is better to be related to your content and now set a feature image i'm going to choose the image that i already have but you can upload some more image let's scroll down here you can see the block detail options, for example, you can have image, sounds, or sounds or video. I'm selecting a sound to copy and paste a SoundCloud URL. This will add this sound to your block detail easily. And we are going to publish our posts. I added some more posts uh, to my blog to let you see our, my blog better. Uh, you can see them by clicking on all posts here these are my other posts now we are ready to create our menu to do so go on appearance select menus you can select your pages to add them to the menu or select all and then add them to menu or you may have a pre-made menu just like the one I have here you can drag and drop sections to change their order you can check this checkbox if you want to hide an item from the menu. The only thing to remember is that you have to remove main page from this menu. Then click on primary navigation and save menu. Now we are going to visit the site that we already created. This is the image box that we added to our home page. I'm going to click on block page. This is the formatting of the classic block. Branding identity, as you may see, our sound is loading. We're going to scroll down. This is a YouTube video that we added to our blog. And our slider block detail. And, and it's a simple image. Then click on contact us. As you can see, this is the parallax that we added. And the second section is our custom contact form. If you uh, do some more configuration on your website and play with our options, you will have a website that will look like our uh, third demo. Uh, as you can see, these are ro different rows. For example, I added a portfolio row. And this is a parallax row with its effects. Uh, the most important thing that you have to do is to read our detailed documentation carefully. This will avoid a lot of questions. But if you have any further questions, you can refer to our support group that we provided for you. Uh, we will try to answer every single question of yours as soon as possible. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video.